and I might propose that I just don't get along. So, uh, welcome to the International Interdisciplinary Social Sciences Conference. My name is Scott. I'm the postgraduate program lead for architecture here at Oxford Brooks. Uh, which really is just sort of a uh, ridiculously British way of saying that I'm just trying to be uh, all of the postgraduates off of. Um, and what I just want to tell you a little bit about our school, and, and then I'm going to turn it over to Sri to talk about a specific aspect of our research. We have five research groups inside of the school, one focusing on design theory and practice, one on cultural context, one on uh, low carbon building, one on architectural engineering, and then the Center for Development and Emergency Practice, which Supriya will talk about in a minute. We are an extraordinarily interdisciplinary school in a, in a very interdisciplinary university. So I would very much like to thank you all for coming hundreds or thousands of miles to join us here in Oxford um, for an in-person conference. We did this two years ago when the world was shut down and everything was online. So I'm really thrilled to see everybody here. And I really appreciate uh, all of you coming, contributing, and I'm looking very forward to all of the great discussions that we're going to have over the next uh, few days. So I will now turn on the microphone and hand it to Sapria to say a few words because she probably is, uh, it needs, it needs the amplification, unlike me. Yes, I do need. So thank you, Scott. Uh, first of all, again, a very warm welcome to all of you from Center for Development and Emergency Practice, short form for the Chief Center, uh, which is also part of School of Architecture. But before, I mean, I say a few words uh, about Sendet. I was, I mean, you know, I gather that we have participants from 48 countries. And that's such a remarkable achievement, isn't it? In this whole global world, people from 48 countries are over here interacting for the next two days and really exchanging this wonderful idea. I think we also have people from Australia and New Zealand, which seems so fantastic, you know, great that you come from all the way. So you probably are one of the furthest participants. So that's amazing. Thank you. And yourself. And then we also have, I think, colleagues from, I think, uh, Latin America. We, you know, great. <laughs> 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 great. What so, and what? Your USA? Yay, okay. And Africa? Anyone? Yay, okay, that's great. Right. Uh, have I left anybody? Anybody want to? Huh? Oh, so much Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Anybody doing ever spectacular now? The British. <laughs> <laughs> it's a separate continent. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I just hope that you know you all wonderful people from these different parts of the world are able to connect with each other and uh, we really I think together they're able to really take out some of the things. But also address some of the major challenges of our time as the uh, conference title board agency in the times of displacement and social change. Uh, I spoke about CENDEP. Uh, One of the essential research themes in CENDEP is on fourth violations, inclusive uh, recoveries. And uh, one of the areas that we look at is you know, what are the reasons for the displacement? And we find that there are at least two threats, at least that CENDEP has been engaged with. One is the conflict, and the second is the climate change, the disasters. Both of which are leading to, you know, um, local sort of, you know, vulnerabilities of people, uh, livelihoods lost, and uh, with which people are, uh, you know, are forced to migrate. And we all know that urbanization is also an increase. And so one of the threads that we look at, uh, look in Senegal is, how do we support the residents of these people who are on home? 
what kind of policies, whether from the government or from the organization that we work with, you can enable them to build their resilience. And uh, one of the uh, you know, central thing that we find to our research is that we need to ask time for research questions. So I'm really hoping that uh, this gathering will be able to sort of you know, raise very critical research questions and also share with each other with the different pieces of methodology that we use so that we really are able to gather and capture the voices and the narratives of the people who are on move by this way. And uh, again, you know, when we talk about, I spoke about one of the themes, which is uh, of center physical inclusive recoveries. And therefore, for us, we also look at, you know, people, and also people who come from specific, uh, uh, you know, social context. They may be women, they may be indigenous people, they may be people with disabilities, they may be, you know, farmers, they may be, you know, uh, people with uh, doing very different kinds of livelihoods, but all facing the common challenge of vulnerabilities which have arisen from maybe disasters, uh, you know, climate change, or conflicts. So I'm really hoping that, you know, we are able to sort of cross-fertilize ideas and uh, very central to say that also the idea of co-creation of knowledge. We do believe that, you know, in order to address some of these challenges, we need to work together as researchers, as policymakers. And the more we are able to sort of work together, the more we are able to develop research which really speaks to the needs uh, of the people uh, about whom we are, you know, we are talking about people on moves, displaced people, and uh, find solutions which are able to address their core vulnerabilities. Uh, before I end, I do want to let you know that we do have two master's courses. One is an online master's, which is called, uh, called Master's in Politics and Peace Building. And the second master's is something that we done over here in uh, Brooks. It is face to face. It is called Master's in Development and Emergency Practice. And we do address some of the core things that this conference will be speaking about in our master room. I hope some of you will be you know, inspired by Oxford and also our work and uh, you know, spread the word around about, about our postgraduate uh, courses and uh, either come, join us, or you know, uh, let your colleagues and your students know about us and uh, we hope we have a wonderful time together. So a very warm welcome again from uh, Sender and uh, School of Architecture and University. And I now hand over to Basu. Uh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> My name is uh, Martin Dallen. I'm a co chair of the uh, International Inter Social Sciences uh, Research uh, Network. I'm uh, from the Academian University in Krakow, in Poland. This is important information because I'm also a co host of uh, next year's conference. Which will take place in Krakow, in Poland, at the Jagiellonian University. And I will also remind that we've got two networks here. I'm a co chair of the interdisciplinary social sciences, and the second one is global studies research uh, 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 network. <clears throat> it is a pleasure. It is uh, an honor and privilege to be here and to welcome everybody after this uh, first uh, 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 not fully uh, uh, achieved uh, uh, to organize a conference in uh, Oxford Brooks University. It is fantastic, uh, uh, a tremendous uh, opportunity to uh, be here, to see uh, all uh, the faces from all over the world. It is fantastic to welcome all the delega delegates who are not with us, but who are scattered around the world, uh, uh, probably uh, watching uh, uh, our general uh, uh, lecture uh, uh, and uh, 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 opening ceremony uh, uh, via their devices. Um, I will say a few words about one thing which is very special uh, this year uh, uh, this uh, Rafael Mazanek Award. Uh, it is uh, uh, named after a colleague and friend, academic who was deeply uh, uh, engaged in developing uh, um, global studies and uh, in social sciences 
He sadly passed away two years ago, very prematurely, and his wife decided to farm uh, uh, over, which uh, consists uh, of uh, three uh, financial prices, uh, each of uh, uh, 500 uh, pounds. Uh, the uh, uh, our committee uh, will be uh, trying to um, find the, uh, uh, these papers. Uh, which are uh, uh, closest to the spirit, uh, uh, academic interest, and the way of thinking of uh, our uh, late uh, colleague and friend. And uh, the three uh, awards will be announced during the uh, final uh, ceremony on Friday. And <coughs> the details will be then also uh, later. Um, I think this is the most important thing for me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. And uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Ramos Borski, and I represent the Global Studies stream of the conference. Having said that, we were uh, very closely together, and uh, I hope this uh, synergy will bring about a lot of interdisciplinarity and mutual learning during the conference. Uh, I'd like to very briefly just uh, focus on the theme of the conference. Uh, it's now a commonplace, unfortunately, that we live in an era of crisis and, and displacement, but we also want to uh, question human agency uh, in those uh, turbulent times. Agency, of course, is a key concept both in social theory and in social life, and I think it's really brought uh, been brought into focus by development in technology. Think of artificial intelligence and the extent to which uh, it perhaps prevents us from being able to uh, be fully in charge and control of our social life. Especially to all extent, these new technologies that we created have come to control us. Uh, agency also features in political debates, you know, where populism increasingly questions the role of political institutions. Uh, it's also important uh, to consider it in economic life, where trends of automation and capitalization again uh, perhaps question our agency. So we hope that uh, this very broad theme uh, will focus uh, the attention of many of the papers. We certainly have great plenary sessions that uh, approach it from various perspectives and uh, having looked at the, at the abstracts i can see that the papers will also work extremely uh, well to shed light on this on this topic uh, we are often reminded that globalization does not mean the end of history that is not necessarily progressive uh, and uh, we also have one panel tomorrow, plenary panel that I would like to advertise about globalization of the far right, perhaps localization of the far right, which we're going to do. I will see that just as uh, progressive forces try to organize internationally more or less successfully, we see uh, the same process on the far right end of the political spectrum. So uh, I look forward to fruitful debates, to uh, interdisciplinary exchanges, in the usual spirit of, of mutual support and, and mutual learning. And as Martin mentioned, uh, I hope that uh, the experience this year will make you attend uh, our joint conference in Krakow, which will focus on the question of migration in a global age. So I'm extremely pressing and, and topical issues. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this content and I also hope to see you in Krakow in Poland next year. Thank you very much. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I can't speak twice. You're all ready to go. Well, I'm going to play the I'm chief certified as the Colonel Hamilton. I'd like to welcome you all here. Uh, the challenge to be out in the world uh, again, and we really uh, appreciate the effort that you have all made uh, to be here today. I'd like to thank our hosts, uh, Scott and Sapria. This has been nearly three years in the making, 
uh, COVID in between, uh, but I appreciate the way that they have led us intellectually, uh, found great speakers, found a theme. Uh, it's been a, um, a wonderful and productive conversation that we hope uh, continues for some time. I'd like to thank our two research network chairs. Um, we put global studies and social sciences together um, a few years ago. Um, you know, one, because there's so much overlap in the work that people do, uh, we thought it'd be a wonderful opportunity. Also, we have two colleagues that work together. Uh, and so um, this is an exciting experiment of communities that are independent and join uh, kind of things that we need to do uh, in this world uh, today. Um, I want to talk just a little bit of, of, about some of the things that uh, make this conference work, you know, what we're trying to do, um, and uh, some of the things that uh, make you understand a little better uh, how to navigate the next few days and the next few years. Um, firstly, one of the things that we did when COVID hit uh, was, you know, really think about what the Solomon Conference is. You know, it's a kind of a temple box. It's two, three days where you get inspired. And we then go off into our own worlds, and, and that inspiration and energy sometimes dissipates. Uh, and so we thought we also didn't want to build a temporary shelter. You know, we all saw our restaurants and cafes and whatever they did, they you know took over the curb and built a you know a wooden um, artifice that was always meant to be removed. It was not thinking of, um, of uh, about public space or, or or what is the future of anything or things like that. And so what we did is that we built this event software, this microsite, which all of the uh, content lives in. Uh, and we did it because we want to build an archive, collectively build an archive, which you as members of this research network can return to and have access to. So when you log into that previous program, one, it's an environmental disaster, that previous program. So that's the one reason why we don't do it. Um, but also because we want to push you into this space. Uh, so you'll see there's a tab on the far right, which is our online far uh, right, not that far right, um, <laughs> uh, um, which is where our online delegates are. And it's asynchronous. Why do we choose asynchronous? Because time zones are a kind of exclusionary boundary. It's where things happen. Uh, and so we didn't want to reproduce that. Um, and, and so they've uploaded videos, PowerPoints, uh, which you can view and, and engage with, with the discussion board. But you too also have that presentation page and you can add your content as well. Uh, and so whatever you think is a you know, good way to express the work that you're doing, we encourage you to do it. And if there's content that you don't see that you want, we have a little button where you can request it. And that person will see that request and hopefully upload that content too. And then what that means is that in a year, in two years, you can sign back in, you can go to that page, you can view the work. Uh, uh, and then that way the conference doesn't end to a certain degree. Uh, it's always accessible. It's content that we give back to you. And that's a really uh, important part of what the uh, transformation that we wanted to consider is. The other thing is that we didn't want conferences just to be in rooms anymore. Uh, is that we wanted you to have research experiences that were outside of this conference space, different kinds of conversations. Uh, and so we have a case study here, uh, which is at the, uh, it's on Friday, um, which you all, it's part of the program, it's not an extra, uh, which is to the Pitt Rivers Museum. Uh, information is in the program and uh, we'll all go together there. Uh, and again, you know, uh, uh, we want to have these productive spaces that you can present your work, but also other, find other ways uh, for you to connect. The other thing that we do, which we want to continue to do, this is not something new, is reward emerging scholars. Uh, so we have a great emerging scholar program, which you can apply to. I say every year, emerging is an existential concept. It's got nothing to do with age. Uh, and then we have a wonderful group of emerging scholars, if you're laughing at me at the back now. Uh, so could you stand up this year's awardee? <laughs> I, I don't know the symbolism of the glass wall back there, but uh, <laughs> uh, they will be in the room with you chairing the session. Uh, again, it's important for us to get emerging voices at the front of the room, uh, guiding conversation, uh, being as visible as possible. Uh, and so we really want to um, uh, thank them for uh, being here. The other thing that's important uh, to us uh, is to be bilingual. Uh, and so you'll see that we have 
Uh, and so I will introduce up on the stage uh, our Spanish language uh, scientific director, uh, Jose Luis. I think I'll take it. He was trained for 20 years and I always switch his name. It is like some disease that I have. Well, we're quite happy to get on the last thing for you were in Spanish, it is a delegate we have in now technology in Spanish. The work by the video is that we will have a classic model and so it's all like the level of the bed and the rabbit is a tagato. La gracia and short words for us, and short for the presentation, but in a very happy agenda. Y luego lo presidente de la dos veces, y con la de los dos congresos que tenemos estos días aquí, Martín y Alex y Rafael Lubowski, bueno, colega y amigo ya de otro de otra conferencia. El Philip Canal YouTube es el Philip Podcast. Oh, yeah. Philip Canal YouTube es el gerente que lleva todo el tema de la de Congo. Y desde 2017 tenemos esta sesión en español, que la hicimos por un poco. Porque yo veía en todos los congresos, llevo trabajando desde 2005 con ellos, que no había una representación grande, no había una cultura para hacer un debate. En muchos casos la gente no se sentaba porque no se veía con la, con la confianza de la sesión. ¿no? Y eso fue la verdad. En 2024 tendremos este mismo congreso, los dos congresos, en Cracovia, como decía eh, antes los dos presidentes de, de la red, ahí ya directamente eh, presentado y invitado. ¿no? Se ha dado la gracia a los Emerging Scholars, a los los bibliotecarios, ayudantes, asistentes, piezas necesarias en, en este funcionamiento. Y comentar con los pues, que ya lo sabéis, los que han en el programa, que sería la gente de una era de desplazamiento y cambio social. En cuanto a las cifras, tenemos 212 registrados en la parte de inglés, 130 aquí en persona, y en la parte de español tenemos 144 registrados, que está, está muy bien. Y de ellos 50 que están ahí interesados para estar aquí en esta hora. Y eh, como última cosa, I think that we wish to uh, say this in both languages also. Uh, we have all the parallel sections are uh, the corridor next to the registration desk, except for room four today. And these individuals in the front, in the front. Nancy from Grace are all in the room next door. We have coffee this morning. And the uh, institute of the session equipment is quite use your USB. And uh, the extract, uh, we have a conference dinner uh, tomorrow, and there are some nice spots left. So, then if you want to register yourself for the dinner tomorrow, that would be great. And the reception is going to be on Friday, where the Nazis and Toffees take place again. But I'm going to talk about the Senate Parallel and Banca Poland in the Pasillo. Y ahí es donde tenemos la, el registro en la, toda la comida, no a todos los satélites, los circuitos, lo tenemos también en esta sala, donde será el, el, la recepción el próximo día. Además de eso, tenemos el case study, eh, el, tenemos, tenemos el case study, el caso práctico, digamos, el viernes por la mañana, que es muy interesante. La verdad que es algo que hemos incluido en los congresos últimamente. Para que haya un evento práctico de allá donde vamos, que podamos ver cómo se está trabajando el tema de este congreso. En este caso será en el Fifth River Museum, será el 21 de julio, y bueno, principalmente, pues saber que durará aproximadamente unas dos horas, habrá que estar aquí a las 9.40, cualquier información al respecto para poder consultar con, con nosotros, y bueno, pues también. Eh, Woods, Jose, Coso, Leonard, Vincent, Tatiana, um, Tan Sin, the old people that are there and helping their backstage also giving their hands to a nice big one. But I have to felicitate and I have to thank Tatiana, Tan Sin, and all the people that are in the back of the room. Tatiana, bienvenido, welcome, and welcome.